Welcome back, Phasmophobia players. How are you today? I have great news. We are adding another video to our series of uh, videos called Where to Hide in Phasmophobia. So we've done Tanglewood and Willow. We've done uh, the farmhouses. We've done um, Ridgeview and Edgefield. And now today is going to be a bigger map. Today is going to be the high school. I'm just going to take you through the high school layout and show you my favorite places to hide. And some of the best places to hide in high school. So if you like this video and find it useful to you, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. And make sure you leave a comment if you have any questions. Or feel free to chime in on where your favorite hiding spot is in the high school because I'd love to hear it. Also, if you want, come on over to Twitch. Ask questions there. Hang out with the Phasmophobia community over on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. We would love to meet you. Let's start the video. Here we go. All right, so now I'm going to take you through the high school and show you some solid hiding spots, which, um, this map, well, we'll explain as we get in there, but I'll take you through and show you some of my favorite hiding spots, some safe spots. We'll take my trusty candle to preserve our sanity as always. I'll show you some risky spots as well as some, uh, some pretty safe spots. So here. In the lobby, if you get stuck in the lobby and the ghost is coming down the stairs or something, you don't really think you can make it to a safe spot, you can get away with blocking line of sight around these pillars. Uh, pretty risky, but I've done it before. Actually, before the ghosts were faster, I looped a ghost around these pillars for like two straight minutes. It was the craziest thing ever. So, in the lobby here, we go right. One of my favorite places to hide is right here in the library. You can hide back here. This corner, or even better right here. This is a solid spot. You're rarely ever going to get killed. Unless you're being actively chased by the ghost. Which, if you don't understand the chasing mechanics. I explained that in some of my other guide videos. It's just, you want to break line of sight as many times as possible. If the ghost sees you come into the library. You just cut into the library. And then he turns the corner and sees you right here before you make this move. Uh, you're probably going to die. Unless you loop him around the bookcase. But if, you, if he sees you right here and you're coming back to this hiding spot. You're probably going to die. So keep that in mind. Context of the chase is everything. Now, in the basketball court, I wouldn't really recommend hiding in the basketball court. Especially if you're dealing with, like, a really fast ghost, because if, if it's a slower one, you can get out of the other side if it comes in, the opposite side. Good stuff, all that. But uh, there's not really many places to hide in there. Classrooms can be tricky. So, you go into a classroom, might get some random stuff. Like this classroom, uh, you might be able to get away with hiding like right here. But ultimately, not not really a good spot to hide. I wouldn't use this unless you're in a pinch. Cafeteria, very similar. I wouldn't recommend really hiding in the cafeteria. But it's a big enough room that if the ghost comes in the opposite side, you have plenty of chance to get out of the other side and go find a better spot to hide. I want to find a classroom with good hiding spots. We're on the right side here. Um, some classrooms have like a filing cabinet like this with a little space behind it. If you can get behind there, that's always a good spot. But this classroom, not so much. Behind the stairs are still actually, even though a while back these were bugs so the ghost couldn't come back here at all. Um, even though that bug has been patched, as long as the ghost doesn't know that you've, you've come back here, you're fine. You're absolutely, uh, I mean, the ghost probably isn't going to come back here and kill you. It's a pretty safe spot, especially if the ghost is upstairs. If you just have to dip behind there for a minute to avoid a hunt, do your thing. Now, right side. I want to find a good classroom. Um, this spot right here. Maybe. I'd like this bookcase to be a little bit thicker. This makes me kind of kind of sketched out. Can we get under here? Boom. Right under here. Great spot. Great spot. So this is the first classroom on the front right side behind that bookcase. Very good spot. But when you're looking at classrooms, you just want to kind of, especially on the fly, find a quick spot. Like behind a bookshelf. I hear dirty water upstairs, by the way. Or maybe behind a bookcase or something. But some classrooms are just going to, it's not going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be a bad time. You just got to hope the ghost doesn't come in there. Yeah, this classroom, not very good. But we are getting to some of the best spots to hide. The best spots in high school and the safest spots, absolutely, are the bathrooms. There's four bathrooms on the right side and four bathrooms on the left. Um, 
So there's gonna be two Two on the right first floor two on the left first floor two on the right second floor two on the left second floor in these same locations right and left side They're basically symmetrical up and down and You'd want to get if you can get into the last stall That's probably the best stall to be in and just shut it and just make sure all your equipment's off and That's the safest place on high school to be So right here's another bathroom so two sets of bathrooms if you have a ghost that's in this hallway uh, It's a pretty safe spot because you can get to those bathrooms normally without any trouble So yeah, I, I've taken you through enough classrooms to see kind of what's good and what's not good in the classrooms and what you're looking for Um, let's check back here real quick Is this one of them cabinets no space, okay? About here. Yeah, I'm staying out of classrooms. I am staying out of classrooms. Science room. Uh, I, mm, I don't like it. You could like you can use all this stuff to block line of sight or to loop a little bit. And just when you're when you're looping a ghost when it's right on your tail, make sure you stay crouched so that you can keep blocking line of sight, and so it doesn't speed up over time and just ultimately kill you. That's a good way to slow it down. Little spot like this isn't bad in the closets in the science room. That's all right. The locker rooms. Let's show you a locker room. Locker rooms can be pretty solid for hiding. That's the cafeteria. Where am I going? Locker room on the other side. We're gonna cut through the gym here. And if you're not getting, uh, if you're having trouble with the high school layout of the map, basically we're going in a big square here. Big square on bottom floor. Big square on top floor. Over here's locker room. So if you can get back here. It's a pretty good spot. And if you're hiding here, you'll at least have enough time to hear if the ghost is coming at you, right side or left side, in the locker room. And then you can just loop the other way. Pretty safe spot. And then as we come around here, it's basically pretty symmetrical. As you're looking through classrooms to hide in, you know what to look for. You want like a cabinet to hide behind at all costs. Like something like this but ultimately you want to stay out of classrooms and be in the specialized places like locker rooms the library I'll show you the auditorium upstairs the bathrooms bathrooms absolutely number one option to hide in all right here we go let's go upstairs here's bathrooms again on the other side this and the next door up are both bathrooms So here we go. There's also a locker room up here next to the basketball court on the front side of the school near the lobby. Another locker room you can get to the back there be pretty safe as long as the ghost hasn't seen you go in there. You can also use those lockers to break line of sight two times and get away from the ghost. Okay, so up here we get upstairs. You have the left hallway here two bathrooms just like downstairs so those bathrooms are the best spot a bunch of classrooms and a science room in the back bathroom good hiding spot obviously bathroom good hiding spot let's see what's going on with storage you could probably block line of sight here yeah you'd be fine in storage storage has a lot of little shelves and stuff you just want to make sure you're blocking line of sight with one of them boxes okay so that's that. Let's, let's cut on through um, back here. There's another science room back here. Some of them pillars I was showing you earlier. This video not only is good for hiding spots, it's good to show you just the general layout of the high school and how it's not as big as you think. I just broke the breaker. Yikes. Classroom with a solid hiding spot next to the bucket and the mop. This is a great hiding spot in this bath this uh, classroom at the top of the stairs here. Boom. You also have another hiding spot. Ooh, trash can blocking. Right here's okay. The other side's better though. Alright, so in the middle of this front hallway here, I don't want to show you every single room because I want this video to be more general and less uh, time consuming, just so you have a good idea of of where you can be safe on high school if you die a lot. Now the auditorium. Auditorium has a great hiding spot, and you're gonna be the speaker. The auditorium, if you're right up here behind the podium, you're pretty safe. 
blocking line of sight right here. You can have your own secret little candle. See, that's cool. Um, if you have to crouch and get away from the ghost, you can kind of block line of sight a little bit with these chairs and use them to your advantage. But you want to make sure that if you're doing stuff on that level that you have a smudge. So that, worst case scenario, you can still distract the ghost and get out alive. And then I will show you. We'll go over to the... We're going across the top front. The top front. And then we're going to go to the top right. And you can actually hear the dirty water by now, probably. probably. The ghost is in the bathroom. Hello? So you don't want to hide in this bathroom. Maybe the next one over. How are you, ghosty? That's what dirty water looks like. If you haven't seen dirty water yet, it's brown. And you can put your candle in it. Oh my god. Hello? Alright, I'm out of here. So as you can see, bathroom, 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 bathroom. Right, left, bottom. Right, left, top. Then you just have basically a bunch of classrooms with some special rooms. Uh, there's another storage room up here you can use to block line of sight. He's been knocking over paint cans in here. He might actually be in here. I'm not sure which one the... Hello? The, the ghost room? This might be the ghost room, actually. Hello? <laughs> Dear Lord. Alright, so those are some of my favorite spots in the high school. Obviously, we didn't go through every single uh, spot to hide. I showed you some general rules in the classrooms that you can kind of go by and learn from the more you play the game. But bathrooms are king. Uh, library, solid. Um, auditorium, solid. And there's some little spots here and there. If you're in a pinch behind the pillars or in the classrooms behind like a cabinet are all good. But hopefully that helps you have a better idea of the layout of the high school and where some safe spots can be so you can plot out your missions and where your hiding locations are in relation to the, the ghost room. So I hope this helped. Make sure if you found this valuable, you subscribe to my YouTube because I have over 20 beginner's guides that I made just for you guys that are new to Phasmophobia and are wondering why you keep dying and what you're doing wrong. I got you. I'm your guy. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment any questions you may have or any funny phasmophobia moments, how you got the, the pee scared out of you. I would love to hear all about it. Also, come on over to Twitch where we're live every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. We'd love to see you over there. We have a great community full of phasmophobia players just like yourself. And uh, hey, new friends. Love you guys. I'll see you next video.